Hey guys, I just got back from a comic show. Let's start. Ladies and gents, your little buddy Rob here. Came back from the Annandale comic show and picked up a couple of goodies this week. So let's see what I got. Let's start. All right, the first book I got here is The Last Ronin. This is uh, issue number five, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this book, uh, I believe, uh, is the issue that has a couple of new turtles that are introduced. So this is a first appearance book. This book was, I didn't pay $9 for it, but this book was hot a little while ago. If you see this in the cheap bin, number one in this book are the ones I would recommend picking up. And I picked up Mary with Children number three. Anything with the Kelly Bundy cover, well, gotta get it. Picked up this Harley Quinn one. Pretty cool Adams Hughes cover. Couldn't resist pick, not picking this one up. Or she's holding her nose and I guess blowing her brains out. It's kind of cool. This is the Dark Droids variant. So far, this has been a really good read. This is where C-3PO gets infected by some kind of virus and he's infecting other droids. And some of them have, are having to team up like R2-D2 and Triple Zero. So this, so far, has been a pretty good read. And we got Mandalorian number one. This is the second series. And this one has the first appearance of Cobb Vanth. If you watch The Mandalorian and also the last Boba Fett, well, the first Boba Fett series, you'll know who he is. And um, interesting character. Hope we see him again. Then I picked up here, free comic book day. I forget what year this was. The New 52. It's got a stamp here, though. Anyway, this is the first appearance of Simon Boz, who is a, a new Green Lantern. So if you see this one, pick it up. I picked up uh, 8 Billion Genies, number one. I haven't read this yet, but I've heard it's an incredible series. I believe this is the first print. So, if you see this one, it doesn't cost a ton of money. It might be worth picking up. 8 Billion Genies, number two. Once again, I'm gonna read this. And I believe it has been optioned, and this book at one time was hot. Not so much anymore, but you never know. This is Magnus, the robot fighter, number 63. Yeah. This is the second to last issue, and for those who remember back in the 90s, the later issues were a little bit harder to find, so if you see these for not very much, it might be worth picking up. We have Starship Troopers, Insect Touch, number one, and Starship Troopers, Dominant Species, number one. I'm a huge horror and a huge sci-fi fan. So whenever I see these kind of books, I have to have them. And I picked up some Godzilla books here. I have Godzilla. This is War for Humanity. This is issue number two. This is the B cover. I believe it's a variant. Godzilla, Here There Be Dragons, issue number three. And Godzilla's Here There Be Dragons, number four. And then we have Godzilla, the IWD excuse me, IDW era. I also bought some sets here. I picked up issue one through five, Godzilla, A Rage Across Time. Some of these are really hard to find, like this, even this one right here, Godzilla in Hell. These are two of the more popular sets, and these go for a little bit of money. If you see any of these books, they're probably worth picking up. Here we have Hellblazer, Constantine, issue 247. I found another copy of this book. This is uh, not a first appearance. It's just an issue where Constantine, for some reason, takes Crush St. Nick's bones, or Santa Claus, and he mixes it with narcotics. So this one's kind of like a controversial issue. So if you see this one, then check it out. Then we have Constantine number 300. You see there, it says, the final issue. This one, of course, as you know, all final issues. Some, this one's a little hard to find, and I think it's worth picking up. Mad Max Fury Road. This one says here, Nux and a Morton Joe. If you haven't seen the movie, you gotta see it. 
It's a blast. The Maniac of New York, number one. This book is an incredible read. I really enjoyed it. This is kind of a new take on Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th, although it's not him. It's a character called Harry the Maniac. This one I recommend is a good read. Iron Man 225. This is the start of the Armor Wars. And from what I gather, if we see some, we may be seeing this, you know, uh, TV or movie series. So this book's a little hard to find nowadays. If you see it for a low price, I recommend picking it up. Wolverine number 27. This is an iconic, I think Jim Lee? Yes, it is. Iconic uh, Jim Lee Wolverine cover. This was also the cover of a 1995 X-Men video game cartridge. So if you see this one and it's not too expensive, I recommend it as a pickup. And of course, this one, this is a cool one I picked up too. This is Exterminators. I believe this is a variant edition. It's got a really cool cover with Dazzler. Kind of my find of the day right here. But there's one book that I actually adore more than that book. That'd be this book right here, Iron Man 128, the classic demon in a bottle cover. This is one, if you see it, you always pick it up. The price is right, of course. Iron Man 128, a demon in a bottle. This is my find of the day. All right, guys, hope to see you guys soon. I'll see you later.